have some breaking news for you. And Sir Ed Davey has told GB News that he will not be handing back his knighthood over the post office scandal. Just to repeat that, Sir Ed Davey, of course, under a huge amount of pressure, he's told GB News he will not be handing back his knighthood over the post office scandal. He, of course, was the post minister at the time. A Lib Dem spokesperson said this, no, he will not. As Ed has said many times, he wishes he'd known then what we all know now. Now, it's right that Venels gave back her CBE. She was at the centre of a conspiracy of lies against the victims, the public and ministers of all parties. As Alan Bates said yesterday, Ed was one of many ministers who was misled and led to by the post office. So there we go to confirm Ed Davey will not Ed will not be handing back his knighthood, despite all the pressure he's been facing from the public, from the media and politically. And he will not follow suit of Paula Venels, who's given back her CBE voluntary today. Of course, there was a huge amount of pressure on her politically. Rishi Sunak was talking about bringing in the Honours Forfeiture Committee to look at her case. So, so you really do feel the heat would have been too much. And with the prevailing mood, the prevailing wind, that most likely would only have gone one way. Now, this is a story that I think has motivated more people with as much passion since the days of Brexit. Family members of mine, associates of mine, friends of mine have just been outraged by this ongoing scandal and the seeming ineffectiveness of any inquiry and the the answer that people want is for justice for the postmasters and postmistresses. We spoke to Pauline from Sunderland at the top of this hour. She told us it's had a huge impact on her mental health, on her well-being, on her finances, and of course, on her good name. That was thrown under the bus, Pauline Stonehouse in Sunderland, who was one of the many, many affected, was prosecuted and had no right of reply. And at long last, it's taken this ITV documentary on Alan Bates and his sterling work. Here's a guy who deserves a knighthood. Here's a guy who deserves a CBE. He should be decorated. He is the best of British for bringing this once and for all to light and hoping, hopefully, hopefully, for these people to have their names cleared, to finally be exonerated in what is surely one of the biggest political scandals and cover-ups of our time. What's next? What's next is we need to look in who was culpable. It's simply unacceptable that Fujitsu, the software company who put this software forward, Horizon, Computer Weekly, the magazine, exposed this as being ineffective and individuals, pillars of communities. Many people go to post offices, particularly pensioners, and it's their interface with officialdom. They trust these people, they give us their public service, these postmasters and postmistresses. They were absolutely thrown under the bus with catastrophic effects, oftentimes in terms of their reputations, their lives, their careers. And now they must get justice. We cannot stop. Fujitsu, surely must be culpable. The public taxpayer cannot be expected to pick up for those mistakes. We must see this through until the end. And I really, really do hope that the, we are facing that process and we finally might get a resolution that so many people out there absolutely and utterly deserve. So thank you to Alan Bates. Thanks to everyone who's contacted us. And thank you for everybody over the years who's actually gone and put forward the pressure on this.